today on TBC. Have you picked out your Halloween costume yet? Stick around and we'll talk about 2024's top costume choices for kids today. And the MLB playoffs continue. We'll have an update on last night's games next on The Rave Club. Hey Warriors, welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Karina. And I'm Matthew. We're here with Max, Fish, and Sarge. Does anyone know what they're going to be for Halloween? Miles Morales. You're going to be Miles Morales? Yes, I have it from last year. I was him last year. I'm not going to buy a new costume. You're going to be the same costume two years in a row? One, yeah, I guess, yeah. I might not dress up. <laughs> You're not going to dress up? Maybe. You should. Like, I have something else on the same day. Yeah. Oh. We'll get to our top stories in a sec, but let, first let's check out the weather. James Gunn has confirmed that Crypto the Superdog will appear in his upcoming film, Superman. The movie will feature David Cornsweet as Superman and Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, and is expected to bring a lighter, more a playful tone compared to the previous DC, DC films. Gunn's decision to include Crypto, Superman's powerful canine companion, came from his own life experience. Gunn was quoted as saying, Crypto was inspired by our dog Ozu, who we adopted shortly after I started writing Superman. Azu came from a hoarding situation in a backyard with 60 other dogs and never knew the human beings. The last time Crypto the Superdog was seen on the big screen was in 2022, 2022's DC League of Super Pets animated feature, voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Superman will be the first time Crypto will be featured in a live action feature film. The film is slated for release in July 2025. It's going to be nice to see another Superman movie in the theaters. Yeah, I yeah. saw um, like the animated version of the Crypto the Dog. It was pretty good, so it's going to oh. be cool yeah, to see I saw live the, action. Yeah, I saw the Super Pets Yeah, I saw it on too. Netflix, yeah. And now to Matthew with our lifestyle story for today. The top 12 most wanted Halloween costumes for kids in 2024 include a range of popular characters from movies, TVs, and games. Costumes like Beetlejuice, Coraline, and Ghostbusters make a comeback, with newer favorites such as Bluey, Barbie, and Huggy Wuggy joining the list. <laughs> Classic choices like witches and pumpkins remain popular along with gaming-inspired outfits such as Among Us, Crewmates, and Minecraft Steve. <laughs> These costumes reflect the latest trend in entertainment, offering fun, spooky, and adventurous options for all ages. <laughs> Yo, I am not dressing up as Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> I was laughing in the back. Okay. Oh, no, my <laughs> I think we're okay. We gotta and now let's that. check out today's 10 second trivia. No, we in Major League Baseball, how many teams from each league, American League and National League, advance to the playoffs? Is it 4, 6, 8, or 10? Six teams from each league advance to the playoffs. In Game 2 of the 2024 American League Championship Series, the New York Yankees defeated the Cleveland Guardians 6-3, taking a 2-0 series lead. Aaron Judge had his first home run of the postseason, a two-run blast, leading the Yankees' offense. Garrett Cole pitched effectively, helping New York maintain their momentum as they head toward Game 3 in Cleveland. Meanwhile, in the National League Championship Series, the New York Mets and Los Angeles Dodgers are tied 1-1, with the series heading back to New York for Game 3. I don't know if you guys like watch baseball, but do you guys want anyone to go to the playoffs? Uh, what do you mean? What do you say? Like, do you want anyone to go to playoffs? Like, who, which team? Want to go to playoffs or the World Series? Oh, yeah, World Series, whatever. So oh, I want the Mets to go. I want New York Yankees. We've, like, always been on New York Yankees. Like, I want like. the Mets because they haven't really uh, been there in a while. It's been nine years. I think the last time they went was in 2015. Oh. Now over to Hunter with today in history.
Marie Antoinette's trial began on October 14, 1793, where she faced accusations of treason and conspiracy. Despite her pleas of innocence, the court was determined to execute her. On October 16, she was guillotined, a moment that shocked Europe and, made a, and marked a turning point in the French Revolution. Her execution ignited widespread revolutionary fervor, leading to intensified violence and the rise of radical factions. The monarchy's fall became ir irreversible, and her death served as a stark warning to anybody opposing the revolutionary ideas of liberty, equally, equality, and fr fraternity, paving the way for a new France. I'm Hunter, and this has been A Day in History. In central Florida, several roads remain closed following Hurricane Milton, with closures varying by county due to flooding, debris, and structural damage. Authorities are working on clearing and reopening affected roadways, but some areas are still considered dangerous for travel, including Sanford's historic district from 1st Street all the way to 25th Street, as debris, power lines, and flooding make it a nightmare to maneuver. Drivers are advised to check local updates before traveling and avoid flooded or blocked roads. Emergency services are actively managing the situation, and cleanup efforts are underway to restore traffic flow. Have you seen Lake Monroe? It's really high. Like, it's here in the barriers right now. I haven't seen it. But it wasn't really even bad for me. It was like a two by the time really? I got to it. My lake flooded. Like, I didn't, like, my power didn't go out or nothing. We were good. Yeah, but we still yeah my power didn't go out either, but, like, our neighborhood, there's, like, a front road that leads into mm -hmm. it. It was, like, completely flooded. Yeah, did you jump in it or something? Yeah, yeah me and my brother went up to check it out, and the cops yelled at us. <laughs> the gas station near us, the roof fell off. Oh, wow. Ooh. I've seen a lot of pictures of, like, trees with their roots coming out of yeah. the ground and, like, the grass coming with them. Mm. Now let's take a look at our warrior updates. What's up, Warriors? I'm Sahersh, and I'm here with your Warrior Updates. Today is Unity Day. Thank you to everyone wearing orange today. As we stand together against bullying, we can rise against bullying by lifting each other up. Our 2024-2025 Yearbook Cover Contest has a winner. Congratulations to 7th grader Shmida Kishore. Thank you to all of the students who submitted a design. We had some amazing entries, but make sure to be on the lookout for them on the Yearbook's Instagram page at Sanford.Leadership. Don't forget that Sanford Middle School Spirit Night will be held at Top Golf on Sunday, October 27th. Tickets are $20 per person, so make sure to come out and support SMS. That's all for now. For more information on your Warrior updates, make sure to follow SMS on all social media. The yearbook photos are gonna come out. Yeah, I've been yeah. checking for them, but I just haven't seen them. Me too. I'm scared. Yeah, I have I'm the like Leonard's ID. Yeah, I have I'm that one too, but it's yeah. not on there. It's just my old one. Yeah, it's just my old one. I hope mine looks good. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You don't want to see my sixth grade photo. Students, just a reminder that checking for the goals you set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring, and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help when needed. And remember the tardy and cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transition. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And stay connected with San for Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave. Believe in your potential. Respect your school and community. Always do what is right. Visualize your success and engage in Excel and learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll catch you next time right here on The Brave Club.